Hey, good morning. A couple months back, we used Tinkercad, Cura, and an Ender 3 to design, slice, and scratch print this mountain chalet right here. Then we put out a video to you guys in the community asking for suggestions on how we could improve it. We got some great suggestions from you guys. We implemented those suggestions, and now we're pleased to bring you the new and improved Mountain Chalet. And today's video is going to show you those improvements. We're glad you're here. We appreciate you watching. Stick around. It's going to be a good video. Hey again, this is Brian with the Iron Horse. We're home of the Denver and Rio Grande Western, welcoming you to the channel in today's video on how we improve the Mountain Chalet based on the suggestions from the YouTube Model Railroad community. If you're not already a subscriber, we want to encourage you to subscribe, click the bell icon, and share this with your other model and friends. We're pleased you're here for our video today. Stick around and watch how we improve this Mountain Chalet based on the suggestions that came from all you guys right here. All right, so what we're going to do is go over to the video now. Here it is. It was a month old. It says help suggestions for improvements. And what we do is we have suggestions from AJ. She did a video suggestion because she's unable to leave a comment. We have suggestions from Roy Eltham, my main man Norman Rowe, SRV John, Dave's Trains left a compliment. We got BNSF6951 left a suggestion. Thank you, Cousin Vinny. And Joe Rader left a compliment. Thank you for leaving a comment, Joe. And appreciate you as well, Dave's Trains. And then thanks, you guys, for giving the suggestion. In the last video, AJ suggested that there not be two garage doors on this side and she did not like that the beams are not straight she did she also, she also did not like that this back side over here didn't have anything on it roy eltham's comment was pinned because he made some fantastic suggestions so let's talk about roy roy wanted to remove the windows that were that are down in the cobblestone areas which makes sense to me and so that was done thank you roy the back wall, the large rectangular wall, was too busy, basically, what he said. It had too many windows. We removed some of the windows. And what he said was, I had a blank wall on the other side, and he said, well, move some of the busyness from the one wall to the other wall. So that's exactly what we did. It also complimented one of AJ's suggestions that she didn't like that nothing was on the back wall. All right, my main man, Norman Rowe, made a fantastic suggestion. He suggested that we create holes in the bottom base to hold the deck beams so they would not be crooked. So what I did was I implemented some sidewalks and some um, deck, some kind of walkways into those areas where the beams drops. So I did have a place to anchor those beams. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for the suggestion, Norman. That was a great one. All right, my main man, SRV John, he actually uh, suggested uh, early in the build that my garage door frames were too wide and we thinned those out. We'll show you that as well. And my main man, BNSF6951, asked that, uh, suggested that the window frames be a little bit smaller to put them into scale. That was definitely needed, and we did that as well. So we'll and now we'll have stills playing with me and voiceover. We'll walk through the improvements and the changes that were made so you can see the end product based on all your guys' fantastic suggestions. All right, a look at the older version of the model prior to anybody making any suggestions. There are the cobblestone windows that Roy Eltham suggested that I remove. I agree with them, and it does look much better. Here we go. You're going to see the cobblestone minus the windows. And I'm going to give you a side view. There were some windows on that side as well that we got rid of in the cobblestone. I do like it better. There is our back side of the original version. It's a very busy wall. We did make the changes that were suggested by AJ and Roy Eltham. And as you can see them side by side, the back is much less busy now. We've even added a wraparound deck over there. Here is the blank wall side that nobody seemed to like as well. And so we did spruce it up. It does have windows and its own deck and door now as well. So some differences, some additions, and I do like it much better. Thank you for the suggestions. Now we're looking at the old walkway and how the beams come down and land um, that hold the deck up. 
AJ suggested that we do something with those because the beams were not straight. Norman Rowe made a fantastic suggestion that I expand the sidewalks and make an anchor place for those deck beams. And we certainly did that and they have a place to land now and now they are much straighter and stay much more straight on their own. They're firm and solid. Thank you for the suggestion, Norman. We also have some very fat garage door frames right there. SRV John suggested that we do something about those. And so what I did is I made an indention as and I sunk them in, as you can see over there. I made them thinner and I sunk them into the wall so they're not sticking out like they were before. And I do feel like they uh, look much better. Um, in doing that, it made me think about that. I also made a frame for the doors and that was my addition to the new model. I changed the uh, doors themselves and put a frame around them. You can see that the uh, other wall has had uh, some six windows where it had nothing before and a new deck. The back wall is much less busy now with a wraparound deck. Top here looks pretty much the same. And you go from old version to new version with suggestions and here we have the new version. You can see those windows are smaller now. It does have a window panel and a window frame. Those windows are four and a half feet across, so they are to scale. You can see the new wraparound deck back there. We show the dimensions of, this is the N-scale model, the dimensions for the N-scale version. You can get this in Z, N, or H, O now. I have got the H, O version ready to go. AJ and I want to thank you for watching today. We appreciate it. Please leave a comment below and smash the like button. If you have not already, we want to encourage you to subscribe. Click the bell icon and share this with your other model and friends. Please shoot us an email at ironhorsehobbiesmk at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching.